This is hip abduction exercises. What we're going to do is we want to be in an upright position. You can stand next to something um, for your balance. And we're going to stay in an upright spine. So I'm going to show you. We're going to start going through some exercises here. And then I'll show you some uh, variations on it, some do's and some don'ts. So I want to make sure that you stay really straight through your spine. If you go too far, you're going to start creating your trunk um, movement. And really the hip only goes so far out to the side before it really stops in the socket. So a lot of times I'll teach it, start with a toe tap, toe tap, and then that's about how far your hip uh, will move in the socket. Okay? Um, make sure that you're staying in the line in the plane of your other foot. So if you draw straight away from your foot, um, this toe isn't coming forward because then you're going to use more hip flexor. It is okay um, to go slightly back, but at least in this line of motion. There's a couple variations. You can put a band on your foot, and you can talk to your therapist about this type of exercise. We always worry about this because if someone has some balance issues, this becomes a lot more difficult. We wouldn't want you to trip coming out of this. And you can see that's really caused me to work a lot harder. Make sure, again, your posture stays very good. You want, I tend to want to substitute or really push really hard, and then my form isn't as good as it was before. Another way to do this would be maybe to have a little ankle weight. This should help with your motion. I'll be able to bring my leg out to the side a little bit farther. And I'm just going to turn just so you can see I like to stay very nice and straight. We want to keep the trunk upright. We don't want to be bending over. Stay upright, tummy tight, and work on that hip strength. That's your hip abduction exercise.